Hero Team and welcome back to the channel. So I recently launched my batch two of Zero to Hero DevSecOps and Cloud DevOps on on my website. Okay. So basically, I received a lot of queries about like what how things are going to be, what is the syllabus and everything. So I'm making this video just to like clear the queries, whatever queries are there, and give you a little bit like uh, overview about the course. What are the things that we are going to cover? How we are going to cover? Okay. So everything is very clear. Everything is going to be very clear so that you can understand and then you can decide if you want to enroll or not. Okay. Also, even if you like not going to enroll, but trust me, make sure to follow the roadmap that I am going to show you here. So that is going to be really helpful for you. Even if you want to study by yourself, make sure to follow the roadmap. If you want my guidance, okay, and disciplined classes for two months, make sure that you are prepared. Then this this paid course is going to be for you. And trust me, the price is as compared to any other course out there. The syllabus that we are going to cover, the price is very minimal, is compared to the syllabus. Okay. So yeah. So uh, first of all, uh, this is going to be the course, and the enrollments are open from yesterday, and last enrollment till like 20th October you can do. Okay. Now let me show you the syllabus. What we exactly we are going to go, we are going to cover. Okay. Okay. So first of all, we'll be starting with detailed uh, DevOps. Uh, uh, DevOps. What exactly is DevOps? Why do we need DevOps? And what is the real-time scenario? Like how DevOps is being used in corporate level companies. Okay. See, my whole point of my syllabus and my course is that we are not going to build and deploy like hello world kind of applications. Real time scenarios we are going to cover that is going to be really helpful. Okay. After introduction, like this is going to be uh, introduction, and after this we are going to jump to Linux, where we will learn Linux for DevOps engineers, basic Linux from scratch, plus the main commands in Linux that we are going to need on day to day basis as a DevOps engineer. Okay. And then troubleshooting what kind of errors we may get with Linux, okay? As well as shell scripting. Shell scripting we are going to cover so that you understand what kind of different scripts being used in corporate level, okay? Those scripts also I will share with you so that you can understand what kind of scripts we use on corporate projects, okay? Then we have Git. Git, as you know, it is one of the most important tool for um, maintaining our source code. So first of all, in Git we are going to do a deep dive, understanding why do we need Git, what exactly it is, okay? As well as we are going to understand the main commands or the most important commands of Git, basically for managing our source code in Git repository or like any other kind of repository. Okay, then we are going to understand the most important topic which is being asked in every single interview: branching strategy that that is being used in corporate projects. That also I'm going to explain since I have quite lot of experience with different branching strategies. So I'm going to explain to you few of them. Okay, then we are going to work with. Uh, first of all, yeah, branching strategy, then merging and resolving merge conflicts. So that that is a very common question that is being asked asked in interviews. How do you resolve resolve a merge conflicts? That we are going to discuss. Okay. After Git, we are going to jump to build tools. Okay. So we are going to focus on Maven. Okay. Other projects also I'll show like how to build a Node.js application, how to build Python, but focus on learning the build tools will be Maven. Okay. So we will understand how to set up Maven. What is the life cycle? Why do we need Maven? And what is the life cycle? Each life cycle, what is the each phase does? Okay, how do we build application with it? And when I say deep dive, that means everything we are going to learn in detail. Okay, and if you, even if you have, you might have seen my videos on YouTube on Maven, and you know how detail we are going to go. Okay, after uh, build tools, we are going to work with CI/CD tools. Okay, and the best part, we are not just covering single Jenkins. Okay, we want to uh, one second, yeah. So we want to cover uh, with Jenkins. GitHub Actions as well as GitHub, uh, GitLab CI/CD pipeline. Okay, so Jenkins will be in deep dive. Okay, Jenkins for sure we are going to cover in deep dive. We are going to do everything in Jenkins, all sorts of pipelines and all sorts of projects we are going to build and deploy. Integration of different servers as well. Okay, but basics of GitHub Actions, which is all, which is like one of the new features recently started, like GitHub Actions and GitLab CI/CD. So there also I'll be showing you basic pipeline how to write and how to build applications. Okay. But focus will be on Jenkins. Okay. So in that way you can learn multiple CI/CD tools. Okay. Yeah. So after that also like uh, see CI/CD once we are in CI/CD tools, then from here we are going to use Jenkins on regular basis because every tool that we study afterwards we are going to integrate it with Jenkins. So Jenkins after that we are going to study continuously. Okay. Then we have security tools. So at this point in DevOps, security is of like very high priority because uh, uh, 
we want to make sure that our pipeline as well as build and deployment process everything should be completely secure okay that is the main point so for that purpose we are going to work with different kind of security tools which is one of them sonar cube was dependency check trivi okay these these three tools we are going to work with and we are going to make sure that we are working with them on a high level okay with a very advanced level so i will teach you how we, how what exactly these tools are what exactly they do and how exactly we can set them up and use them okay then we are going to use artifact management okay so in artifact management section or like module 7 we are going to cover how we can manage release okay like you know like when we are adding new feature we create a new release and release it to production environment right so how do we do that so for me like most of the companies uh, nexus 3 is being used which i am going to show you how to set it up how to set up repository there are different kind of repositories how we can set up and how we can perform release management okay how we can store artifacts and everything this also will be deep dive then we have containerization tool which is docker so first of all docker will be deep dive from scratch i'll be explaining you what exactly is docker what problem does it solve why do we need docker okay then we will understand the architecture of docker then we will learn how to write docker files okay because we are the the flow is docker file docker image docker container right so we will understand how to write docker files i will teach you from scratch then we will understand about docker images docker containers docker networking okay docker volumes okay then uh, not just that we are going to i will teach you how to write docker files in addition to that i'll be also teaching you how to integrate docker with not just jenkins but also with azure devops part okay and then finally we will be doing deployment using docker containers and obviously like uh, once we complete docker we are going to use docker concept in kubernetes deployment right so yeah after docker we are moving to kubernetes and kubernetes deep dive here kubernetes being one of the most important topics for interviews as well as in devops so we are going to first of all understand what exactly is kubernetes what problem does it solve how we can set it up what is the kubernetes architecture uh, processes on master node processes on uh, worker node we are going to understand everything in deep then we are going to jump to yaml and in yaml uh, yaml uh, section we are going to learn how to write yaml files for kubernetes deployment basically manifest files okay deployment and service as well as config uh, config map then we have uh, secrets for docker everything we are going to cover in docker as well okay then finally we are going to integrate kubernetes with jenkins following the best practices that is the main part because usually like doing certain work around everyone can do but following the best practice that is the most important so following that we are going to do deployment through uh, jenkins using kubernetes okay also like recently i received a lot of requests for making a video on gitops so i have planned to include in batch 2 for gitops also so that you can understand how exactly we can implement gitops and trust me everyone is using gitops like argo cd and flux okay for me i am going to make it as easy as possible so that you can perform gitops in the easiest way possible that is what i am going to teach you with gitops okay so once we complete that part then we are going to jump to cloud devops so basically in cloud devops i am going to use azure devops okay and here i'll be showing you whatever we did previously how we can do the same thing build and upload deployment of applications using azure okay so that i'm going to show you like we are going to write pipelines for it we are going to integrate sonar cube OWASP, pv okay with azure devops also okay and for artifact management or release management in case of uh, uh, azure devops we are going to use azure artifacts which is its own feature we are going to use okay and then for docker and kubernetes we are going to use azure resources like aks and acr azure container registry and azure kubernetes service okay and trust me in my experience cloud is future so at least one cloud devops you should 100 percent know and since in very less price i am trying to like give you uh, devsecops plus cloud devops okay so once we do that then we jump to iac which is infrastructure as code where we are going to perform ansible deep dive and terraform deep dive we are going to learn how to start to write scripts ansible scripts how to perform build and deployment using ansible and how to uh, like create resources or provision resources using terraform that also we are going to do and finally one of the important topics is monitoring so for our for, uh, for our course we are going to learn how grafana works how to set up grafana how prometheus work and how we can use prometheus for monitoring purpose okay this also will be deep dive then see uh, recently i will tell you like recently i received a lot of uh, messages on telegram as well as instagram that people have joined courses worth like 50000 or 10000 20000 like that in different places 
and at the end it's like they were not even taught to create a proper resume and uh, like to be prepared for going to interviews okay that is what i am planning to do two things first i will like guide you with proper making resume i will share a best template possible one template i have already shared on my youtube channel which every one of you know is one of the best template out there okay so for this course i have a better template which i want to share with you which will be in the shared in this course okay secondly after that uh, resume done i will even guide you in resume what things you should write how you should explain your projects okay and again since if you are planning to switch your uh, like uh, domain or like if you are fresher you don't know how to explain projects so i have lot of corporate level projects explanation which i will explain you through diagrams or architecture how it is built how it is getting deployed and okay and how you can explain it to interviewers and that is one of the thing that is going to help you get a better job better opportunities because if you have experience working on different kind of corporate knowledge like how projects are getting built what kind of projects we work on so it will be really helpful for you right so this is going to be syllabus i will just add it in my uh, git repository you can download and you can go through this whole uh, syllabus okay secondly if you are satisfied with this uh, syllabus and if you want to uh, like study in disciplined way for two months not just that we are going to give you assignments also so you can learn a lot okay and practice also and pra for practice also scripts we are going to share projects we are going to share which you can practice your things okay yeah now if you are satisfied then you can go to devopshack.com this is my website and latest we have this okay the actual price is around uh, this 8000 but i want to give you a discount of 2000 using the cl uh, coupon cloud25 and this uh, course you can get for 6000 okay and to be very frank with you people if you see my syllabus if you have seen my videos you know this course is worth it and if you really want to like be prepared for interviews uh, properly discipline uh, like prepare things in a disciplined play in way in, for two months then definitely go for this course okay so yeah that's pretty much about this course and i hope this course is uh, helps you a lot if it does then make sure to uh, uh, like enroll yourself okay enrollments are open till 20th october if you are having any queries you know like since uh, i am one of the youtubers who has in direct contact with you my uh, telegram channel uh, my telegram channel as well as my own telegram username is already shared with you so you can just uh, uh, you can just uh, ping me if you are having any doubts but i hope ki every doubt is clear one more thing in case you are thinking like how we are going to do the classes so basically initially i thought that maybe we should go just for live on weekends but then i realized since syllabus is long and i want to make sure that everyone is prepared what i am going to do is weekends saturday and sunday we are going to do uh, doubt session plus implementations okay and weekdays i will record videos not like videos which are already recorded i will manually record videos in weekdays three or four videos hands-on videos and share with you so that in weekdays anytime you are free you can watch it learn it and implement it okay in that way we could utilize whole week okay whole week and we could cover more topics and learn more okay so everything i have explained you is if still you are having doubts you can just ping me on telegram my username is at the rate devops shack okay that is going to be useful so yeah that's pretty much about today and i hope uh, you learn a lot and yeah so make sure to subscribe if you are new on the channel also if you want to learn uh, just go on devopshack.com this is the site whose link will be in the description and you can just buy it okay the cost is as i told it's very less as compared to any other courses out there and in my opinion i will make sure that you are uh, interview ready your resume is proper and you know how to explain projects corporate level projects that is my whole point to make sure that you are able to learn okay so yeah that's pretty much from my side and i hope you learn so uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day